crazy. Uh, as, as a matter welcome of fact, to Collector Spotlight. This is Life with Brock, and with me, I have a plethora of guests that we will be discussing the figures of the year that we've picked from our collection, the top five figures. And right there, you you see the panel. Uh, Hopefully, you're seeing the panel right underneath, right here. Let's go one by one and introduce them. Uh, let's start with Doodog. Welcome to Collector Spotlight. Man, I am glad to be back, ladies and gentlemen. So good to have you, man. I'm just glad we're all here. It's going to be a great time, man. I'm excited to show off the top five figures. It's been an awesome year, 2018. It's going to be incredible. Very good. All right. And the next person who just happened to crawl into our chat, but it worked out well because it's going in the order that I wanted it to go. <laughs> Tech Chucker, welcome to the spotlight. Say hello to the folks. Tech Chucker Brain Blast. I, I just wanted to say, who are all of you guys? I have no idea who you guys are. I will ban you from <laughs> the channel, Matt. With that being you? said, you're going to ban me? I'm going to mute you right now. You're muted. No! I'm no, just kidding. Uh, the next oh. special guest star, you've seen him on my channel. Actually, you've seen all these guys except for Matt because he's big with me. But uh, the next guy I'm right here big. on the screen. I'm, I'm, I'm too big for this. Plastic Addict. Say hello to the folks on the... What it up? What it up? What it up? What's up, good folks? Plastic Addict in the building. And it's not going to be nice. We're going to get real raunchy up in here. So just hold on. Buckle your seats. <laughs> But we about to argue. We about to fight to the death because I don't agree with a, no, any one of these guys' lists. No, we're not. No, there's no <laughs> argument. <laughs> and as the moderator, I have the power of veto. And we're moving on to T-Man 978. And as you can see, he's all black. George, what happened to your second. boy? <laughs> he cut what? out right when what? I switched on. Just because he's black don't make him my boy. Nah, <laughs> I ain't blaming him. <laughs> Can't do it. Yeah, you can't be making that. Chuck is my man. Tech Chuck is my man. He was late. That means he's already black for the day. <laughs> Automatic, though. Y'all was supposed to. Y'all was supposed to warm it. Tech Chuck warm it. Oh, there he this is. Hold this on. is how tonight's going to go. All right, here we go. Yeah. My fourth and last special guest. We have T Man 978. Say hello to the chat. We got 65 people in the chat right now. T Man, say hello. Hi. <laughs> God dang, he's boring. Lord have mercy. Don't go to T Man again. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know I was gone. Y'all supposed to warn me when I disappear. <laughs> uh, you just disappeared. My my mug's back on the channel right now. All right, folks. So uh, right before we get... T-Man uh, went going... outside to blaze a J real quick. He ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> kids, don't do drugs. Thank you. They All right. So let's get back days. to Collector oh. Spotlight and the reason we're gathering up this evening. Obviously, uh, I've known these guys for a little bit. We have similar collecting habits and that we spent a lot of money and buying figures but uh let's let's open it up right here uh hey matt or actually let me use his his uh handle tech trucker how long have you been a collector uh-oh uh-oh uh -oh. official official here we go oh, folks geez. i think i started collecting action figures in 2015 okay uh comic books probably only just like 2013 2014 but I quit the comic books because I went and bought a whole bunch of the new 52 and then realized they weren't very good. So. <laughs> All right, let me go to right next to you, George. How long have you been plastic addict? How long have you been collecting? Collecting. I've been matter of fact, this November would hit me at, I believe two years even that I've been no. collecting action figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two years. years? I've been collecting. Yep, 2016 is when I started collecting action oh, yeah. figures. That is but I've been a nerd all my life. Oh, like you, like you similar. Twitter. You know you're a nerd. Similar. <laughs> similar. I, I was doing video games. I was a hardcore gamer. And then definitely was into DC comic book hardcore. And George, uh, how long? how many figures did you collect this year? This year alone, I collected 197 figures, just shy of Whoa. 200. Whoa. So I, I am, look, uh, when I tell you that I am 
without a doubt, an expertise when I say, my brother, that I have <laughs> a collected an scrupulous amount of action figures. <laughs> okay, I he's done. All right, we're going to move on. <laughs> we're done, George. We're going to come Three hours later, later the intro is done. <laughs> it's like James, one of his videos, collecting. <laughs> See, when you formulate your action figures, you must always take into consideration that Brock's going to mute me, so I'm going to go ahead and let Duke Dog take over. That's T Man. How long have you been collecting? <laughs> All right, folks, Duke Dog Pound, thank y'all for uh, representing in the chat right now. I've been collecting right around four and a half years. And it's been, I know, man, four and a half. And uh, it's been a pretty interesting time. I love it. And uh, it's a great way to just express and it's a, it's an awesome opportunity to meet amazing folks like y'all and uh i wouldn't trade it for anything man great time that boy do dog ain't got no money he's been collecting four years <laughs> zero well, zero well uh, speaking of that how many figures did you collect this year james this year total i have acquired 358 action figures God, in 2000 <laughs> 18. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to slow it down a little bit in 2019. You know oh what I'm my saying? gosh, that I, I hope my wife is watching right now because that, I did not that, collect. That got maybe that cat got a baby on the way. He collected 300. 300? Hey man, listen, listen. When you got the problem is when you get all the Marvel Legends, all the Mezco. I mean, that stuff adds up, man. It's crazy. And then I got it. I messed up. I messed up. When I got into the hot toys, that's where I really messed up. And I should have done that. I should have I stayed away from the hot toys, folks. 200 a piece hot toy figures. Well, if there's anybody that's going to uh. be able to even keep up with you, uh, Do Dog, it's going to be T Man 978. Uh, T Man, I know you've been collecting for a long time. I don't remember what you told me. How long well, have you been collecting? Unlike you, Nevis, I've been collecting for, for, 20, <laughs> for 20 years. <laughs> So instead of asking action figures, T, are we talking action figures, not porn books? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Action, action figures. Back right, in 1998, right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> not, no, don't mute me. Don't, don't, don't mute me. I'm sorry. I'll be good. <laughs> Come on. But back okay. in um, 1998, I decided to buy a Beast Wars Transformers. I got um, Rat Trap, and after that, it's just been going on and on. Mostly Transformers, but. In recently years, I've been branching off and collecting every freaking thing. How many I got this year? I don't have any clue. I'm pretty sure it's over 100. <laughs> oh, I bet. Just in Transformers. That mostly other. Yeah, it, it could be. It's a mixture of both. All right. Wow. That's a, that's a lot. Uh, I, I think I got about 100 ish, 130. My wife is watching. She knows exactly how much I. I got. Man. I didn't get that many new figures, though. Uh, a lot of it, my stuff was uh, just picking up figures for customs. All right. Well, let's move on. We have we had about ninety eight. We almost broke a hundred. Make sure if you're watching this live, we're about to get into our top five Click figures. The like. Let your friends know. Send send this to everybody you know. Let's get over a hundred people up in this chat. Let's make it tell a, a friend. Over, to, make a tell a friend. Hundred. Tell a friend. To tell a friend. Tell, tell a friend. Mind. Phone. Can you even say that anymore? Yeah, right. unlike, the, unlike, unlike that one jerk, click like instead of dislike. Do we, do we, oh, we, <laughs> we got 20. Oh, we got one. one. We got one. We got hey, hey do dog bring the haters. Let me tell oh, you, yeah. do dog bring the haters. Listen, listen folks, if you got anybody <laughs> that's going to bring the haters, your boy do dog's going to bring the heat, baby. I mean, that is do dog. Full it's do -dog. force. Please Listen, believe I could it. be I could be giving a million dollars out, and the haters gonna say, "Oh my god, I hate this!" Dislike, dislike, dislike. I can say your Quit. mama's beautiful. I hate him. Dislike, dislike, don't like dislike. him. I don't like him. Get him out of here. I'm kissing well, let, babies all day. Dislike. <laughs> let me get the conch here just for a second because 2018 has been an exciting year for collectors. Uh, we've had a tremendous amount of figures. But we've also had the loss of Toys R Us, uh, which was a very big uh, issue in our community. Obviously, it was a store that we would all go and shop uh, for. Th those of us that did toy hunts, I, I would take my family there. We had some good times. Uh, and now Mattel that's lost the DC license and Spin Master. And ma maybe we'll get into that uh, in a little bit. We got 105 people in the chat. We've broken 100. Woo. Thanks for your help. 
Thanks for hanging out, and we're going to get into the top five. But before we do there, I do want to show a figure uh, that's actually becoming uh, not only a favorite of mine in the collection, but the fact that there was folks that helped me build this. Man, that's an and, awesome bath. But is the it, reason is that, an, is that an action figure of me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll talk about Dang losing weight at the New Year's. We'll make our New Year's resolution. But in all seriousness, uh, there was a member of the action figure community that I, I knew, and some of you that are watching may know, Chris Gilham. Uh, he actually sent me uh, the head uh, for free. Uh, he he didn't want anything for it. He was just a good natured. Talk about a good natured person, a fun guy in the chats. Uh, but he passed away. I don't know the details of how he passed away, but he did. And I got this. He had sent me this um, this part uh, just a couple weeks bef before he did. Uh, so I, I will always remember him. Uh, for the kind act uh, that he did, and every time I look at this figure, I know uh, overall, I mean, it's a phenomenal piece, but the fact that absolutely. he gave me the final uh, that piece that, that finished this Build-A-Figure, uh, I'm forever thankful to him. So, Chris Gilham, a shout-out to you, brother, even though you cannot hear me right now. R.I.P., Chris, because he was, he was definitely a, a very good guy. Uh, he was he was a uh, active member on the MOC page uh, page that I admin and uh, we did a giveaway in his honor because Chris used to give figures away left and right. He gave a build a figure to my good friend Omar out here in Hawaii, the Sauron build a figure. Gave it to him for free. So in his honor, we did a build a, uh, we did uh, what people did was they posted what they wanted to give away in their collection. And the first one to comment under their post, um, well, in, in the comment section under what they posted, got it for free. And I think about uh, uh, 60 or 70 people got free figures just from other folks Jeez. in the community. Wow, that's amazing. That's yeah, yeah that's and I know there's some people in the chat that also got uh, figures or parts of figures. And that was something that he just did and 111 people in the chat, you know him. A lot of you know him. So let's have good cheer in the chat as we continue. Uh, I know there's going to be people that are not uh, fans of every single person in here, uh, maybe some personal personality oh. conflicts. So all I ask you is this. Please really? keep it civil. <laughs> Please keep it uh, civil in the chat. Uh, let's have a good time tonight, and let's get on with this. All right, let's do this. So let me turn the conch over to... Do dog, and he's going to start us off. We're going to go in a round robin format. It's going to be the top five figures that we chose from our collection. It's our individual opinions. Go ahead and disagree with us in the chat when you when I put up some of these figures. Uh, go ahead. You can. It's okay to disagree, but let's just keep it uh, in a in a civilized manner. But I'll you'll you can see. disagree if you want, but we break fingers. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, don't and let the, these figures fool you. You know what I'm saying? We come uh, from the hood. You know all what I'm saying? Sudden, he's got more bass in his voice all of a sudden. Yo, 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 I'm going to break your fingers. Yeah, I'm going to break your fingers, player. T-Man right, is over. the muscle. You know, T-Man is the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. So first of all, we give a shout out to uh, Life with Brock. Number one, I appreciate you having us on, man. I think it's going to be an incredible time. We're having fun already, man. I see some folks in the chat already that are, like you said, that are big fans. I see some that may not be. But you know what? It's the collector community, man. It's like a big family. Sometimes we fight. Sometimes we fuss. Sometimes we argue. Right on. But at the end of the day, we got to get things together, man, and make it work out. So. We're going to get this party started, ladies and gentlemen. Now, obviously, if you've been a collector, it don't matter if you've been collecting a week, if you've been collecting 20 years, whatever. 2018 has been absolutely incredible for all types of companies, y'all. It don't matter if you're absolutely. a DC fan. I'm sorry if you're a multiverse fan. But anyway, it don't matter if you're a Marvel fan. <laughs> whatever it is, these companies have been pumping it out. And it's an amazing time. If there's one thing. If there's one thing that all 121 <laughs> people can agree on right now, it's an amazing time to be a collector, y'all, for real. So let's get let's get on with the uh, top five. Now this is my top five. This is the figures I acquired this year, and uh, uh -oh, that was here we go. This year, here we and, go. Uh, so we're gonna get to it, y'all. Number five, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. 300, Mr. 300. <laughs> and listen, it's hard when you got that many figures, but it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. 
Number five for 2018 is the Mezco exclusive right here. Mezco oh, exclusive. Man, no this booty. Is oh. the I disagree. I disagree. I Terrible choice. This man. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Here's the Awful thing. choice. First of all, I have been waiting years and years for an amazing, articulated, nicely articulated Iron Man. And the beauty about this thing right here, number one, it's one six scale. But uh, number two, y'all, this thing is a box slap full of accessories, man. I'm talking missiles. I mean, repulsor blast. It's insane, y'all. And then on top of that, it's die cast. I mean, come on die cast folks and it's got leds in his chest i mean when i'm thinking when the kid inside of me thinks wow toy action figure man this thing lights up it's metal it's plastic it's amazing and yeah for my you're not gonna sell me on that five, figure dude, doc now listen Boom. if that one don't sell you the equal to it would be the classic hey, version, five the so classic hold on is version. that your number so four I, I have to put both of these in order right here number five for me is the mezco Iron Man, ladies and gentlemen. He's so there you go. On a serious note, though, whether that falls into your top five or not, that's a really incredible Iron Man that you should own if you collect one 12 scale. Okay, so here we go. Now, remember, these are action figures across the board. All right. Now, this figure out right here that I'm about to show y'all, number one, it falls into two categories. I'm confused. First, Where are we? Top four. <laughs> Top okay. Four. Four. Wait, 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 no, 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 Okay, it's five. So what? Okay, okay. So we're gonna bounce around here. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. We're gonna bounce around. My five gonna be your five, son. There's my five. Let's go. Yeah, it needs to be like a death match. All right, before we move on, I'm just curious. Uh, how much is that uh, black and gold Iron Man going for right now? Twelve bucks. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> for those that may not have bought it for eighty um, or eighty-five, right now it goes for about one hundred and sixty-five. So this is okay. approaching wow. a two hundred dollar action figure for this version right here. So there you robbery. go, folks. The if robbery it, is in process. Save up some money for it. I don't even the like robbery. comic Iron Man, and I, I like that figure. Yeah, it looks the cool. red one is is boss. I, I I will agree. The red one is boss. All right, let's move on to uh, Tech Chucker. Tech Chucker. Let's, Here we go. Let's, what's your number? Somebody four? that knows oh, okay. good taste. Here we go. <laughs> I, I I may um I may tick some people off with this one because oh. it's actually don't a lose repack. your black card, Tech Chucker. Don't it's lose a... your black card now. You just got it. Come on now. You gotta come with it. Yeah, it, 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 it. Okay, so. My number five is oh, God. Carnage. <laughs> yep. Yep. He's walking. He's walking. That's an awesome figure. Don't listen to that. It is an awesome figure. And and it's the one and only figure that I'm happy oh, that, uh, God, that Hasbro Lord, redid. <laughs> Brock, can you can you shut plastic <laughs> off? Let me see. Let me see. This is I a perfect am... this is a perfect figure. Plastic has been muted. He is on mute right now. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't really have. You can have your piece, Matt. Wow. They didn't have to mute man. <laughs> no, I collected. I started collecting just when the uh, Ultimate Green Goblin wave came out, and, but I missed this one. I missed it, and so I was super stoked when I was able to get this guy. So, right, I, so, so I'm having a problem. I can't unmute past plastic. <laughs> I think he. I, I think don't think he that's has a to do it himself. That's hilarious. I, think, I, I don't think that's I a think problem. He has to unmute himself. All right, George, you're gonna have to unmute yourself <laughs> because you're next, player. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I have. I haven't Dude, done a clip do in a long time. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, oh, you can hear you a little bit. A little I bit. I hear you all the way here in Georgia, brother from Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Is it my turn? Your turn, I George. fell asleep. I fell asleep. I'm sorry. I'm awake. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, here we go. All right. DC okay. Multiverse. Here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, number five. Now, hold on. When, when I do my number five, guys. It better not be we Carnage. Got, we we, 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 we got to do it like this. Hold on, hold on. Number five right here. Coming, coming at you right here. This is a guy that everybody is familiar with. <laughs> everybody loved when he came on the scene. Without a shadow of a doubt, 
if you play the game of Street Fighter, you love them, you know them, without a doubt. Here we go. Right here. You see them? Right oh, okay, we see here we butt. go. There we go. Boom. Man. Right there. A <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful figure. When they did Akuma from Street Fighter, they really nailed this guy. Now, I'm not a big fan of the lion mane head, but I am a fan, fan of the man bun Akuma. This guy articulates like a beast. I'm telling you, he has a slew of accessories, six interchangeable hands. He has his fire, he has his fire hands, and he has his fireball uh, Hadouken style uh, fire. So, and then the, the the sandals right there are removable. You know what I'm saying? Butterfly joints is in the building. He's hit. He's a hit. He's a hit. That's a number five right there, folks. That is a number five. Yeah, it's a nice right pick. There. Looks good. All right, let's Absolutely. move on to the team, man. Number five for you, sir. Well, since it has to be things that were released this year. It, yeah, he had a made little it, problem with that, I think. Yeah, it made it difficult. <laughs> and um, it really did. Made it, it made it easy a little bit. But, uh... <laughs> and but we're already seeing Voltron, so might as well put it out yeah. there. This is Mini Plus Voltron. It was a model kit, but it's like super crazy posable. Now, the reason why he's number five, some of these other figures aren't as good as this one, but he's number five just because he's a model kit and articulating him is a bit difficult, but he has a crazy amount of articulation. Now, what he company is that, T Man? Um, Bandai. It's it's a Bandai a model kit, but it's called um, instead of Gunpla. That's the full size. It's Minipla. Uh, How long did it take you to build? Um, the black line took me over an hour, and then the rest of them, the time like went down by like ten minutes with each one. Do they like combine? Yeah, like I can separate it. And then oh, you have to. That's attach, what's up. Oh, okay, okay. I have to attach. Okay. I have to attach his legs separately. That's another reason why I took some points off of him, just because it's so much work to play with it. <laughs> okay, that's decent. That's decent. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. I'm not familiar law at I'm all. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. How much does it cost? Um, I think it was sixty four dollars. Their model kits are really cheap. Like um. Let me do a comparison. Here's a Voyager class transformer. I think you have a different so, uh, definition of cheap. Well, <laughs> for usually, no, no, no. T Man is the cheapest no. guy I know. <laughs> yeah, usually for a model kits. I mean, usually for anything import, I'm used to something like this. Even at this size, if it wasn't a model kit, if it, they were like full fledged figures, I know it would be over a hundred dollars. But um, since it was at Barnes and Noble. And they give out coupons like it's water. <laughs> I paid way less than sixty-four dollars. Wow, cool! That's a good pick. I, I never didn't even know that uh, uh, figure existed. All right, oh, so I Barnes guess and Noble. Uh, Barnes and Noble, huh? Wow. Yeah. All right, here we go. So my collecting habits for my number five uh, have changed. I started with Transformers, and then I went into the world of Marvel Legends, et cetera. And then I moved on to customs. But when I saw this figure this year. I had to have it. So see, for we my can number see five, your whole collection. <laughs> for mm. my number five, it's not going to be this Paul Red. But <sighs> if it's great figure, oh, I, love that figure. I was I was about to get I, mad. Wow. <laughs> I, love, I love that figure. I bought that figure only for the head. Honorable mention. He All right, really loves that Paul Red head, though. <laughs> I do. It's fantastic. It's one of the best Marvel Legend uh, figures. All right. So for my number five, and T Man's going to have to help me with with the name from this company. It's gonna be Fans Toys Cyclonus. Nice, nice, now look, that's the number five. Look at that that's figure the right there, five man. Right there. That is Ooh. a beautiful, If that's beautiful... number five, I can't wait to see number one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't get too excited, player, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm yeah. Brockonomics. So number yeah. five, the paint on this figure is off the hook. Uh, I haven't transformed them. I know, T-Man, uh, you don't you don't like it when I don't transform my figures, but it, it's just a beautiful uh, piece. I got this from uh, China, and I bought it from, uh, I'm trying to remember the name, uh, Baba Bobo 007, 
and I bought them when there was a 20% coupon on eBay, $110 shipped. It's pretty expensive, but less expensive when you take advantages of those eBay prices. So that was my number five, my, my number five figure. And 5.1 because um, he comes with this little dude. <laughs> he sure does. What's what's this guy's name? Fans Toys' his name. Do you remember? Quietest. Right, quietest. Quietest. Shh. Quietest. <laughs> quietest. I think, we get, I think, I think there's got to be a rule that you got to know the name of the I do. Cyclonus. Yeah, let's start hey, deducting live points here. Cyclonus. Let's start deducting those live points. Minus three points. <laughs> minus three. You know what? The, the company... <laughs> The company that Not make those what figures you're buying is a no no. <laughs> the companies that make those figures, they don't even care about those fake names they make. Sometimes they can't even remember them. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's move on to James. We're going this is round number four or fourth, your fourth favorite figure of 2018. All right, now that we got this thing figured out, here we go. This All is right. going to fall now, into two categories. Come on, right? shake it off, dude, dog. That last one was bull. Come on, shake Number it off. One, shake that bull crap off. Y'all got to understand, when Plastic <laughs> Addict, when it's not a DC multiverse, he flips, man. He can't comprehend <laughs> what a good action is, so it messes him up. Man. He's like, no DC, no multiverse. So, ladies and gentlemen, number four, four action figure, but this is going to be a number one in the Marvel Legends category. So if I was going to do a top 10 or top five Marvel Legends, uh -huh. this would be number one. But uh -huh. it's going to be number four on my overall Already list. Know. Let's go ahead and Already uh, show this Already thing know. right here. There we go. I knew it. Look at this I guy knew right it. here. Ladies uh -huh. and gentlemen, Mr. Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends thing. I mean, this thing right here, literally no pun intended. Well, I guess it is pun intended. But a uh, very incredible figure. The very thing I've been okay. looking for for real. Okay. Now, okay. No joke. It's, of course, you see the hat and you see the little <laughs> coat and all four, that good okay. stuff. Listen, that, that just that just amplifies the awesomeness of this figure. So number four for me, your boy Doodog right here, okay. is okay. the Marvel okay. Legends Walgreens hmm. exclusive thing action figure. There you go. Okay. Right there. Right, Very nice. I'm just curious. I'm just you curious. You redeemed yourself. You redeemed yourself. How many of the 151 people in the live chat right now agree with Doodog's pick? Thumbs up. Or thumbs down in the chat. Let's see. Let's see how many of you agreed with his pick. Overall with his number four pick. for the year. Who agrees? Who agrees? Thumbs I want up, to see this. Thumbs down. Thumbs I, I actually thumbs agree. Down. I actually agree. I actually. I give him a thumbs up. We don't. Yeah. We don't want him I, hitting I, I, the thumbs down on the actual video, though. No, 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 no. In the chat. In the chat. Is this your first don't time? Thumb down the video. <laughs> <laughs> we probably have hundred and fifty thumbs down. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, MCU well, the, collector says easily the lightest figure of 2018. MCU collector says easily the legend of the year. MCU collector is a rising channel that uh, displays Marvel Legends. And he just recently released his top 10 movie verse figures. He and did. Picked, he uh, did. Yeah, he picked the yellow jacket as his number one figure. That yellow jacket, I'm going to tell you, that's one figure I don't have that I passed on and wish I didn't because I actually prefer that Paul Rudd head over the one um, – uh, Brock likes, but uh, I, I, it was a it was a decent list. I watched that last night. MCU collectors, come on, MCU collector. Where was Paul Rudd in that list, player? Come on, look at that face. Look at that nowhere. Face. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right, that's the face he had. Check. Uh, I, I just saw a bunch of thumbs up in the video, so they they agreed with your uh, selection, do dog. We Matt, got two you're down. Up. I'm up. I'm up. Okay, so here. All right, okay. here we go. Matt needs to redeem himself too. Come on, Matt. Come strong. Come strong, baby. Right. I'm with I, you. I don't care about your rules, Brock. I do actually care about your rules, but I wanted to at least showcase this. All right. This is the MPM4 Optimus Prime. Okay. I got it okay. at Toys R Us just before they closed. Rest in peace. But this isn't my number four because it wasn't manufactured in 2018. But I wanted to show off because I got it for 60 bucks. Is that even mm. a Transformer? Do yeah. Those come for Transformers? It is a Transformer. It, it, it came out in 2000. Brock don't like movie bots. <laughs> He's being facetious, y'all. He's being facetious. But because I couldn't <laughs> do that one as my number four, Cable. 
Marvel Legends cable, and again, people might flip out at me for having another. Oh, I got some. I got some echo going on. What's going on? I said Chad just exploded. They didn't like your pick. Oh, they didn't like it. <laughs> Too bad. No, I'm, just I'm just kidding. I got stuff in boxes that I haven't looked at that would have been in my top five, but I haven't. I haven't looked at them yet. But Cable I, is one of my absolute favorite uh, action or uh, characters, next to Deadpool, Batman, it's not bad. Uh, Turtles, and this is aside from this dumb thing. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite figures in my collection. I've got two of them, one on card, which is worth fourteen dollars. <laughs> but that's, I don't care. I mean, Number that's four. a good cable, man. It, it's it a is, good cable. It's the it's the best cable that we've gotten, period, hands down. Thus far. So I I really can't be too mad at that for real, for real. Hey, pounds nine seven eight in the chat. Thanks to you. Uh, thank you very much for the love right there. I, Donating I do a dollar ninety nine. Hey, I want to know uh, how many of you would like to see me interview pounds nine seven eight in a future collector spotlight. Let me see some thumbs up in the chat. Thank you for the love right there, brother. I appreciate it. You thumbs up or it won't pounds. happen. Collector thumbs spotlight. up or it won't thumbs happen. Well, Rock needs to be definitely affirmed. Y'all want to see that. Right here, live on YouTube, folks. We're getting a bunch of thumbs up in the Joey, chat right Joey, now. Joey, Chris, thumbs I. E. Hunter, up. give him a Cody, thumbs, thumbs up. I. E. Hunter, thumbs up. <laughs> I. E. Hunter don't want to see it. There it is. If I. E. Hunter don't want to see it, let's Look not do many. it. Let's not do it. <laughs> let's not do it. That's a bunch of <laughs> sex down. Uh, thumbs up that. right there. Look at that. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Christopher, hey, 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 hey. thumbs up. Clutch. Again, don't pick on my boy, I.E. Hunter, man. That's my big boy. You know what I mean? The boy loves some biscuits. You know what I'm saying? Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> don't mess and with don't you man. forget the gravy. Don't, don't, hey, don't mess with my brother now. Hey. Have you seen I.E. Hunter's, uh, when, when he does reviews with his shirt off? I don't know why he did it, but it was <laughs> awesome. What? Hey, listen. I, hey, don't, hey, I'm not laughing because I do my reviews in the tank top. <laughs> it's been seen. It's been seen in the shadow, and the, and, and the plastic will show me in my tank top. No, but but I.E. has no shame. There's no shame in his game. Good for you, player. <laughs> All right, we've He's kind of at home there. relax. Hey, you know so, one thing? I like folks that keep it real. I.E. I. E. Hunter keeps it real. He rappers. He does. Him. He does. <laughs> All right, where are we at? All right, we're, we're moving on uh, from uh, – so Matt's selection was Cable, fourth round. George, it's up to you. Plastic Attic. Here we go, ladies <laughs> and Here we go. Drum Here roll. we go. That was Let's, Apple Yes, juice. sir. That was Apple Juice in a go. different Madella container. In one I haven't seen that container. In the other hand. Hey, look, let, let me tell you. This number four is a, is a sock blower offer. Sock <clears throat> blower offer right here. My number mind's four. about to be blown. I don't even know what that right means. Right here. Here we go. Is y'all ready? Now, this fig I'm about to show you right now has a lot of variations. Mezco, he is one of Mezco's top dogs, top three dogs that they love to produce over and over again. But this, this variant right here <laughs> sent me over the top because I lived in this area for a year and I am Got very you, partial to <laughs> not that area. <laughs> I am very partial to the culture here, so definitely my oh. number number four is Ronin Five Wolverine oh, without okay. a shadow of a doubt. Ronin sure Five Wolverine by, by Mezco. Is that a head buddy, What is that? Buddy is immaculate. His articulation, even though he has cloth, he articulates so well. So well, I have zero problems with this. Figure. You like me too. Matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, all the figures on my list, I had zero zero QC issues. That's what I want to point out. Zero, and that's what really helped me decide of my <laughs> top five here. Hey, Joy, Joy in the chat said, "Mess crap." <laughs> Come on, <laughs> tell Joey to shut his fat mouth <laughs> because. <laughs> If he would stop collecting Marvel Legends, he'd be able to get a real action figure. Oh that man, does some, oh, that does some man. damage. Joe, <laughs> come on, does some damage. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Joey. I got your back on this one. Man, all right, that's plastics uh, round number four. We're moving on to T Man. T Man, you are up. Well, 
Whoa. Which one of these is going to be Ooh. number four? I think it's going to be Quietus. No. <laughs> it's going to be this guy. Transformer mm. Siege. Optimus Prime. I love him. Transformer Siege. Optimus Prime. Yes, okay. this is one of the best retail Optimus <laughs> that they've given us in the past few years. I think. Back, so. Can you back him up a little bit? I think back him up a little bit. There you go. And it'll be more as, focused. As a Transformers expert, I'm going to have to say I disagree with you, T-Man. <laughs> this year that I've acquired. Oh, okay. I'll allow it. Yeah. <laughs> did, <laughs> Matt, did you even collect the Transformer this year? Oh, I know nothing about Transformers. <laughs> he has one. You just stole one. You just stole Prime. But. <laughs> I have two. I have two Transformers, and they're wow. both Optimus Prime. Hey, so that Optimus Prime, from what I've heard, people <laughs> in the Transformer community, they're saying that that's the new standard chug, uh, you know, beating out that old classic uh, chug from, I forget what, 2005 or whatever it was. I agree with them because this looks like Optimus is supposed to look, and what they're doing now, standard, is like giving every Ooh. single figure ankle pivot. Look at that. Which you don't have, and he even has wrist rotation. It's like they charge us extra money, and then they gave him extra articulation and more paint. Some of this paint people don't like. Like the, I don't know if you can see the the little rusty details they have on his legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but I don't that's care. No, he's been four. really fun for me. That's the number four. Ugh. All I'm right. Disappointed to you. I'm, I'm, I'm actually George. disappointed to you. I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's let's uh, we'll continue on. There's 152 folks watching right here, ready for my number four reveal of the fourth round. Here we go. Here we go. I picked this. Rock number four is a figure that I recently acquired, and I did pick him up for retail price. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. So far down in the list, really? Popeye mm. is my number four selection. I love this figure. The face on this. Very guy. good, number four. Yes, you're nailing it. Yes. <laughs> nice. Man, his, his he man, list he man is actually pretty. <laughs> list is actually pretty, really good, though. I grew up. I grew up watching these cartoons. Uh, I don't know how this many good in list. the chat that are young people have even seen the Popeye cartoons, but it looks like this guy just jumped out of the page. I got the Toon Tickles as uh, a, a Transformer uh, Dust Mite says the Toon Tickles. I got him with that. I had to have that figure. That's my number fourth selection. That's What's it. That's all I got, number, Claire. That could be number one. That could be. That, I, it just depends on the week for me. It really does. Right now, I felt that he was my number four pick. All right, let's That's move to the number four. Yeah. I don't disagree <laughs> with any of Brock so far. Brock is, is two for two, baby. T-Bag. Well, exactly. yeah. I'm just, just saying that because he muted you last time. Yeah, pretty much. T-Bag. T-Bag. When you watch one. When you watch my list on my channel, all of these are going to be different figures, I bet you. Oh, for sure. On my channel, it's going to be totally different. <laughs> well, here, here's totally the deal. This is the last expensive figure on my list. So, wow. Cyclonus so and Popeye all are the legends. most. Well, now we can if you go all Marvel Legends, figure. I'm leaving this. I'm leaving this live for you, boy. Yep. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move to Doodog. You're in round uh, number three, your third round, your third pick. You're up, player. All right. All right, so it, here it, we go. It folks. can only get better from here, Doodog. Come on now. You're exactly right. It can get way better. As a matter of fact, when I show you my top three right here, my number three, you're going to be green with envy, first of all. As a matter of fact, you're going to see green. And <laughs> in, in order to acquire these figures, you got to have some green, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm picking my number it's three. Hot toy I'm coming up. Green. Hot toy. Nope. Listen, nope. SH listen. Figures. Green with envy, folks. It's listen. A, oh, number oh, three. Oh, action oh, figure oh, 2018. It's going to be home. SHF home. Is oh. the NECA exclusive wow. Teenage Mutant oh. Ninja Turtles wow. box set, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, wow. on, what what 80s kid, what 90s kid does not want to see this right here in their collection? And wow. ladies and gentlemen, you can't just have you can't, you can't just have one. You got to have all four. But here's the good news, y'all. Here's the good news. Not only are these figures awesome, super articulated, really amazing, but for those of y'all that didn't have a chance to get these in one box, 
GameStop, ladies and gentlemen, is just for you because you can pre-order these bad boys individually <laughs> or as a whole set. So my number three action figure of 2018 is definitely the brothers right here. Really? I agree. Ninja Turtles. Hey, hey, for once, I agree with you, dog. Yeah, man, well, at least we got you one time. Wow anyway. <laughs> for are once. These, are these the uh, movie versions? These that, are they, the they uh, look cartoon the to me. versions. Here, let me get a little closer right here. Little Mikey right here. Let's use him as an example. But yeah, the detail, y'all, is just stunning. I mean, they're freakishly realistic. I mean, let's just be honest. Incredible figures. If you can yeah. get your hands on them, I mean, I, I suggest you do, man. If I was going to, I usually don't tell people to buy something, but if you are going to buy something, this would be an amazing investment right here. Well, and these or, are uh, cheap. Here they're lying. Here they're, lying. Like they're, they're inexpensive. Preach. I'll they're, testify. I'll testify. <laughs> you, can, you can get them off a, uh, off a, uh, game stuff for like 23 24 bucks each. Yeah, it's impressive, it man, for that price. No no doubt about it. All right, sweet. Uh, good picks. Uh, I've never, I think I've watched the movie and maybe <gasps> saw a couple of the cartoons, what? but I don't know what any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are. It's past my time. You know, I'm older than uh, most of the guys here, except for maybe. What? T Man, you He's don't know what? He's older than me. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, it was past my time. I was playing baseball at that time. You know, you only really like six, six, seven years older than us. I'm, I'm 43. Mm. Exactly, six, seven. I'm four. I'm 38, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was past my that's time. That's crazy. That's not past your time. Yeah, you still watch Star Trek. That's my time right there. <laughs> you was born in 1920. You was yeah. born in 1920. Close, we're close. <laughs> I was the dust boy. That was your great grandfather's time. <laughs> Bye -bye. <laughs> what in the world? All right, Matt. Uh, Tech Chucker, you are up. Uh, Let's all right. Three so this isn't a huge surprise, but it's got to be NECA. I'm mad at Ahab. that. Now I'm mad at that. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm mad at you, George, because what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because this was supposed to be the Elder Predator. But because you went and <laughs> you went and got him off of off of Nate, hey, so I had man. to settle for this guy. It's hey, it, but it's still number three. This thing is this thing is just amazing. I love it. Everything about it. I'm I'm I've basically gone all in on the NECA Predator. I'm I mean I'm buying duplicates now of stuff. So you was too slow, Chuck. Tank, Dude, sorry. well, that's why I put, that's why I called dibs <laughs> on everything now. <laughs> Just anything, anything that Nate all right. has. All right, I've to explain dibs. the story real quick for a real quick explanation with text talking about, we was in a private chat. It was all of us in a private chat plus Nate, and Nate was selling some stuff, and he just showed us. And I called dibs first, and Tech He's never cheater. forgave me for that. He's a cheater. He never forgave me He's that. Low down <laughs> scumbag. <laughs> I hate you for it. Wow, hate's a strong word. Hate hey, strong I understand. Word. I use hate. it. All. I understand that. One <laughs> day he'll forgive me. One nope. day he'll forgive nope. me. Even when I get mine, <laughs> the I finally get folks <laughs> in the chat right now. How many of you collect the predators? Thumbs up in the chat. Uh, I'm just curious. I don't collect the predators. I, it's just uh, I, I think it's just them. George I and love them. our plastic and uh, tech chucker. Thumbs up sure. if you wish Tech Chucker got it over George. <laughs> that, 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 how many people that could backfire on nope, me? Oh no, it. we got it down. Dude, dog doesn't collect the predators. Neither. There we go. He collects nope. predators in the chat. Team plastic, team my, plastic, show up. I was doing thumbs down, baby. Team plastic, look at that, look at that. Bill Thomas, team plastic is showing out, baby. Team. Yeah, we're like, yeah. Does not count. Von Strange does. Chris Grosso does. <laughs> Lorenzo Bryant does. Count Von Strange. Yak you does. can put as many thumbs up as you want. Wars Wolfang does. All right. Uh, I, I, I think it's just It's pretty Sometimes even. It it's pretty even. Yeah. It's about. Oh, look at that. We got we got one up and one down. Judson Osgood. We got half and half. Yes. Uh, the tattooed toy hunter in the chat. Let's all uh, wish him uh, well health. He was he was sick. Okay, Joey. Back. I'll keep that in mind. Joey. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Who's That's sick? okay. It's your turn anyway, sir. I was just trying to wish oh. somebody good health. 
<laughs> that's that sucks. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Please wish him good health. Please. Kevin, Kevin's in the mercy. chat. Tattoo Toy Hunter is in the chat. Oh Thank yes, you. Tattoo Toy Hunter. I love that guy. He finds all the bargain stuff. <laughs> all right. So he, let's stop talking about his health. Let's stop talking. Let, let's go to your number three. Plastic. What is your number three? Okay. My it better not three. be Elder Predator. Definitely came out in the 90s, and I definitely had to agree with Mr. Doodog because my number three is without a shadow of a doubt the same as his number three. But Raphael is my very favorite turtle. That's why he is representing every single one of the turtles right here. I got all four, obviously, at this, this late in the game. I, I, I have to have all four, right? <laughs> Because GameStop ain't released theirs, but my number three is without a shadow of a doubt, 1990s TMNT Turtles movie by NECA. Yes, is indeed. It, I'm going to tell you right now. Of the turtles? Yes. Th th this is my favorite turtle of all time, Raphael. He's a no-nonsense dude. He's rough around the edges, but at the same time, he does care. But you talk about his brothers and his on. You know what I'm saying? He has he, he has uh, everything going for him. He didn't get his personality till that movie, really. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because the cartoon was slightly different. Up. Yeah, I agree, I agree. But he was still rough around the edges in the cartoon, though. Yeah, just not as not as bad or, or yeah. bad. I guess he Damn! was he was ornery. <laughs> in the movie, he was just a G. He was just all G though. <laughs> Am I the only one in this group that does not give a rip about TM Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I think so. Yeah, you are. You are. Yeah. You're, you're yeah, about I to get so. banned. <laughs> you're going to get banned from your own channel. Is what's going to happen? I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how to mute you right now. You're about to, you're about to lose subs after Teenage <laughs> Ninja Turtles. <laughs> you're about to lose your sub count going down. <laughs> I just unsubbed. <laughs> You shouldn't have said that. All right, let's stop talking nonsense, okay, George? Let's move on. T-Man, you are up with your number three. Here we go. Ah, this one's tough. I can't decide, but... I can't decide what go on. to pick. Yeah. Shout out to Nathan Simmons. He couldn't be with us on this right now. So I got to bring all the robots. Just to let y'all know, I... I, robots have priority over other figures. I've had a lot of good figures this year, but when I try to think which figures would I not give away, yeah, it's always going to be the robots. But this I, yeah, is just a thumbs down for Brock. <laughs> this is Iron <laughs> Factory's uh, Cygnus, who is a representation of Transformers Generation One Skyfire slash Jetfire, and he is crazy articulated. He comes with like different hands and stuff for different expressions. He has it's a different a head. He has weapons all over the place. And it transforms and he's crazy posable. It looks like a Gundam. So, yeah, this is going to be if, my number three. Hmm. Nice. If anybody don't know by now, T-Man loves Transformers. I'm just putting that out there. They should New know. Spoiler alert. That's what he. That's how he made his uh, YouTube name, right? Via the Transformer reviews and such. Yeah. First thing he reviewed was a Oomsie Loomsie. <laughs> <laughs> Lala Lala Loomsie. Lala Loomsie. Lala Loomsie is his first I, review ever. I think I put that in the that collector video? spotlight that when I had him on. I think I played that video. <laughs> All right. That's the first T Man went out for a hunt for it. He went to hunt for a Lala Loomsie. That should tell you everything you need to know about T Man. Yeah. Let's go, oh. Rock. That was for my daughter. I wanted right. to show her. Um, I want. So he says, "Let's go, bro." She, she wasn't with me, so I wanted just her to see the the toy in action. Oh, well, put it out. I'll put it you on the screen. There you go. The excuses are not coming. Fast and furious. Did you put it on the screen, bro? His well, first hunt been. ever, folks. His first hunt ever. He went out for the La La Lunacy. <laughs> Number one figure uh, of 2013 for T-Man. Let's go. This honorable mention, <laughs> SH Figure Arts, Sakura. She's not number three, but just honorable mention. Oh, well, I'm cool. a lot okay. of cameras still on me. All right. All right, so my, I'm going to go from my number three now. Remember what I said earlier 
my most expensive figures are, have already come and gone. My collecting habits have <laughs> changed. Better wow. not be For those of you that were following me, know that I was on a hashtag no storm trooper left behind. Mm. Hold year. on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. I barely collected uh, any Star Wars, <laughs> and uh, Star Wars is not going to be my number three pick. For my number three pick is going to be uh -oh. Omega Red. No. Marvel Legend Omega Red. And here are the reasons why. Okay. I better be good. Wow. When I look he at a beat out Popeye, <laughs> he beat out Popeye, and I'll tell you why he beat wow. out Popeye. Let me tell you why he beat out Popeye. Because when I look at his body, first of all, I love the character. Uh, he's an X Men villain. If you're not he familiar, looks like with one of the old. guys from Kiss. He, he, <laughs> he does. I'm gonna mute you right now. I'm gonna mute that. No, I'm just kidding. No. Uh, the reason I'm picking him is it's a new body. Uh, it's got hinge no joints right here, uh, butterfly hinge hinges right there. And for someone like me who's doing customs, I'm seeing this guy being used for several different bodies. Matter of fact, I think I picked up four of them uh, just to oh do my. customs. My first custom, uh, well, maybe not my first first one, but I'm hoping to do a Venom custom. Uh, I recently uh, purchased the um, sculpture shelf, Eddie Brock unmasked head, and I want to make a Venom out of this guy. I, I really do. I want to make a Venom. And there's another guy, another customizer that um, I'm forgetting his name, but he's working on a like, transitioning Venom head, and it looks awesome. Uh, he's just waiting. He's the guy that did Daredevil. Uh, his name's skipping my mind. I'll, I'll think about it later. But that's the reason why I'm picking this. I think it, 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 it's a good representation of this character. Go look at Mike De La Paz. He did a repaint on this figure. You can take a $20 figure and make it look like an 80, 100, 150 and up. Look at Pound's uh, uh, figures. Every single thing he touches, he turns to gold, right? They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're very expensive. They, they look very expensive. Oh, and it's a $20 figure that he's transforming them. That's why he's crazy. my number three. This is Boom. crazy, man. Boom. I can't believe it. Uh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's it. That's all you guys wow. say. Come on, man. You still like this list? You still like this list, George? No, man. He didn't. He didn't took a down slope, boy. It's, it's all downhill from here. Hey, listen. <laughs> there's people in the chat. There's people in the chat that their pockets are not that deep, and what they can afford is going to be a Marvel Legend figure. <laughs> and they're going to be able to put some paint and love to this thing, and it's going to make it look like a premium figure. Number three, baby. All right. All right. Let's hear it from right. the chat. Let's All hear right. it from the chat. Right. If you agree with Brock's number three, thumbs up. If you disagree with Brock's number three, yeah. thumbs down. I'm already seeing did thumbs up. Did, hold up. Did, did, did Omega Red beat Popeye? Did that just happen? And, and, <laughs> In the chat, in the chat, what do you think? Good lord! Okay, Brock, Brock, you're saying you're saying that uh, you can make a, a twenty dollar figure look like a hundred and fifty dollars. Joey's so vote can, don't count. So can I? <laughs> look, I got a little for, oh so, for sale God. sign, one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I just oh made this look like a hundred and fifty dollar figure. Doesn't Let's mean it's gonna stop. Let's boot the whole chat. The whole chat's gone crazy, except nah. for Eli and Friendly Neighborhood Toy Nerd and Knight of Ren. He's cool. Uh, Nikki Max, cool. <laughs> Joey needs to get booted. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's move. Well, night, night of let's move. Needs to get booted. Hey, let's move. Right. Speaking. Of, by the way, check out my merch. You guys see my merch right here? You can get yours here with the next guy, the figure game himself. Let's go to Do Dog reviews for your number. Are we at number two now? Number we're two, already, we're almost done. Here we go. All right, y'all. So first of all, big shout out to all, every single one of y'all who <sighs> bought a figure game T-shirt. I mean, to, to I even sell. I gotta take a deep breath when Do Dog come up. Yeah, to, to, to even sell <laughs> three dozen of those, that just blew my mind. But anyways, uh, here let's jump on to let's jump on to this right here. Number two action figure of 2018, y'all. I'm gonna tell you right here, this thing is. Something I've been waiting for a long time. As a matter of fact, uh, my almost five years of collecting, I've never found the perfect figure of this character until a few weeks I'm ago. Nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm nervous. I'm here nervous. we go. He's nervous. I know. I know he's nervous. And uh, but I'm gonna tell you, it's such an incredible figure. I mean, listen, you can't go wrong with this thing. If I had a brother named Bruce, I'm he said incredible you, I would three times. 
Listen. This is a plastic SH video figure arts. now. SH Fig Arts, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Incredible okay. Hulk. Okay. Let me okay. look at this. Okay. Look at this. I'm on board. Okay. I'm on board. I mean, All right, I'm on board. I'm definitely here's the on board. Beauty of it. I here's was the beauty nervous, of it. boy. The beauty of this right here, y'all, this is like the okay. perfect six inch scale Hulk that fits in with movie or comic. If you're a comic guy, you say, hey, all I collect is comic book figures. Man, this is just the right Hulk for you. If you're a movie guy, maybe you're like the MCU collector that's been in the chat all night. Uh, maybe you're like him. Maybe you love the movie stuff. Well, this, there okay. is, this is the perfect okay. Hulk for any collector yeah. out there, y'all. I hear any you, Marvel dude. I fan, hear you. Any Hulk fan, number th uh, two for me of 2018 is the SH Fig Arts Infinity War. Incredible Round of Hulk. applause. There, there you, you go. go. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Yeah, you, brought it. Sure. you brought it with your number sure. two, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, That's you know. Sorry. Yes, sir. It, it, it yes, is. Sir. Dude, how, how much that figure cost? Um, originally it was eighty bucks, eighty-five yeah, bucks. Yeah, eighty. Eighty um, bucks. I could use one of y'all's coupons that y'all showed me a while back. It was like twenty percent off or fifteen percent off or whatever. So I got it a little less, thankfully. Uh, right now though, there again, it's one of those hot figures, man, that so many people want, and it's already up to around a hundred and thirty. So I'm telling you, if you oh, want yeah. it. You better know somebody. You better get hooked up with it because this is the Hulk of all Hulks at this moment in time. So there you go. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. The chat agrees too. The chat agrees with you, do dog. You, you got the up. people behind you. You got the people behind you, man. Self joy. Right. Don't don't pay no attention to him. I think Joe was with him too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, George. That's it. I'm gonna give George the mute. Hold on. No. I'm just <laughs> Hold up. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt, you're up. What's your number two? Oh, geez, I just spilled. Um, you, you, you scared me. Okay, before I get into it, first I want to uh, point out JBR3 uh, with their, their comment here. Brock saved his whole list with that Omega Red choice. I'm not huge on that that part of the set. Wow, but, that's but, crazy. But they, they followed it up with, but Matt is still winning this so far. No. Oh, yeah. No, he did not. No, you're not. Me Let's get this. a recount. Hold up, Brock. Bring that comment back, Brock. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm screenshotting it. Oh, we're we going to take a vote at the end of this. We're going to take a vote at the end of this. Who got the best list? Best yes. believe we's going to do that. I need a napkin, though. I spilled all over. Can, all can right. you give us your number two? That's because person. you're nervous. You're, you're really? nervous. Okay, well, okay. Yeah, this is a, this is an honorable mention because I found this at Target for 10 bucks. What and is it, it, that, sir? It is a diorama set of Is that furniture. a La La Lunzi oh. place? That? What is that? No, no, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Brock <laughs> wants us to keep moving along. But, uh, okay. So my number two... Oh, you just saw it. Uh, my number two is... So, Ooh. NECA. Oh, my gosh. Another turtle? I'm turtled out, man. Me and Do had him at number up. three. Me and Do had him at number three. Well, he bought, like, 700% more than I did. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, yes, the, the San Diego Comic-Con set. Hey, number we need two. somebody in the chat to, to check the percentage on that, please. Somebody in the chat, check the percentage. <laughs> check, give or take, 0. 0.2 for percent. <laughs> Um, no, I just I, growing up, turtles was what was my biggest thing. I loved the turtles, and having this set with the the movie turtles is amazing. I also have the uh, individual set on pre order. Technically, I have two sets on pre order. I got to cancel one of them. Wow! Um, yeah, yeah. Because I don't need a that. Big turtle fan. You're I, a bigger I, turtle. You're the biggest turtle fan I know. Well, I don't know. You just don't know enough people, but. What? <laughs> I know at least 5,000, Chuck. Well, <laughs> there's some of them that got to be bigger turtle fans than me. So yeah. that's, my, that's my number two. And Leonardo is my favorite because he's the leader. And, uh, you know, I lead. I like, the, I like his face sculpt better than the, the one that George put up. I like that face sculpt. Look at that. Like Grimace. Come on. That Raphael <clears throat> face sculpt is, is the best. It's the best one. Well, I mean, if you like people with anger management problems, but you know, whatever. Oh, wow. Okay. That's where <laughs> we're going. <laughs> That's where we're going, folks. <laughs> we're rolling up All right. Sleep. It's rolling up to sleep. Right, here we, we go. go it's George, it's about to get say, dirty. Uh, get <laughs> dirty. Go for it, George. It's all, your, it's all yours. Go for it. All right. So my, my number two all day long 
if you, without a shadow of a doubt, was born in, I'm going to say 19, 1980, 1980 to 1985, you struggled with this guy in the arcade. You struggled with this guy on Sega Genesis. Oh, I know. You, without a doubt, had a hard time beating this guy until you figured out the move. The very same move to beat him was just a simple jump kick to the chest, jump kick to the chest over and over again. My number two, without a shadow of a doubt, is have to be the man, the myth, the yep. legend. I knew it. You have the years yes. wrong. You have me confused. Goro. <laughs> Goro. This is an excellent Excellent figure by Storm by Storm Collectibles. This figure is absolutely magnificent. This guy has four arms that articulate. Uh, two arms have butterfly joints. Uh, he all, all all arms have double jointed. All arms have uh, bicep swivel, double knees, uh, a waist waist articulation. He also has a uh, a diaphragm articulation, toe hinge. I mean, it's all you want in a Goro. He comes, he comes with what's that? Eight, eight hands? No, 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 no. I, I'm undercutting it. I'm undercutting it. I, you know, I forgot how many hands he came with. <laughs> I don't have a box, but he already has four. So no, no, no. He comes with twelve hands. Sorry, twelve hands. This guy comes with. He comes with two special effects fists. I mean, he comes with two hair pieces. Right, one one laying straight down and one blowing in the wind. I mean, by storm storm knocked this guy to part. And did I mention this guy has no QC issues in my copy? No QC issues. Oh, a lot it. of people like to say that this guy does not stand properly <laughs> and he's hard to balance. Well, they are the folks that need to work on their posing game. They are the folks that need to work on how to balance an action figure because this guy. Is very very good. Yeah. Number two, go if on. it wasn't going to balance, it wouldn't have uh, stood in that platform, that rotating platform that you have. That's a exactly. impressive glued. He glued it on. That's an impressive <laughs> he said thing. I glued him on. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> All right, nice pick. Let's move on to T Man nine seven eight for his number two pick. Yep. my number two pick is better than Omega Red. <laughs> <laughs> It's Thank you. Donut. Just long as it's better than Omega Red. That's, uh, that's always it's a, just, a donut? It's just <laughs> Sprinkleberry Donut. It turns into a robot. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, this is not his pick. We got but, it, but it's kind of cool. That's I got to cool. tell you that. That is cool. I know my like, number three would my, like that okay. figure. My real number two is Quietus. He just looks so beautiful. Get out oh, the way you were. This guy was last year, so he can't be on the list. That jazz? But, yeah. From oh, I got one right. right. That's from Make Toys. Yeah. But Quietus Let down. is awesome. And I like his robot mode and his jet mode. You once you if once you transform him to the jet mode, the jet mode is so clean and sleek, it's unbelievable. It's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful figure. Why he's not number one is because he doesn't have an ab crunch. If he had an ab crunch, he would be number one. And I oh. like that he, he comes with a little nightstick right here. Yeah. Was that a joke? That was a joke? It's not a donut? Oh, no. It's no, not. It's not, it's it's not, the, it's donut. not the donut. It's, it was my Woo! number one pick. I'm it's quiet. Hey, it's this guy, hey, George. T Okay, okay, T man. Okay, okay. Can you add me back on Facebook? Because I just deleted you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't right, do so let's move. <laughs> Do you have any uh, final comments on that one, T Man? Oh no, just okay. just buy them and watch my fix for them because you're gonna need the. I fix. need I need a drink for everybody's number one. That's why I'm, that's why I'm crying. You got the crown with I, the handle. I, yeah, this is the big boy. This is the big is that boy. That the Costco crown. special. I, yes, if you're yes, in sir. Not <laughs> advocate here life with Rog drinking. However, I, unless you're grown, Mister Mister Plastic. Unless you're over the <laughs> 
It's just and he's apple drinking juice. Responsibly. 21 apple and juice. over needs to drink apple juice. Apple juice. <laughs> Milk is for babies. Arnold Schwarzenegger said it himself. Milk is for babies. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. When my, for my number two, Chaba. keeping with in line with my collector habits this year, the potential I see in this figure is tremendous. It is an incredible, it is a new mold. It poses extremely well. Oh and my the God. accessories that you can put on this guy to make him look <laughs> awesome. This is the reason why Dr. Octopus. Oh, I still don't have two, him. My oh, number, number two, two. figure. I, woo, I thought we was at number year. one. Woo. No, 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 oh, no. Okay. Number two figure of the year. Uh, I don't have the tentacles yet. However, he's, spo he's sporting the Harker Customs Soft Goods Smock. Okay. So look okay. at that. It just poses incredibly well. It's it a beautiful good. figure. Uh, it would, it would look really good with the tentacles coming out. Bro. Yeah. If you had the tentacles coming out of that, that would look dope. Man. It's going to look dope. I have to do that mod. That's upcoming on the channel. Stay tuned, folks. All right, let's move on to the final round. The final round. And let's... Ooh, that's why I pulled my drink, folks. That's why I pulled my drink, boy. Let's go, do dog. Hey, look, I don't care if you disappointed me uh, five through four. As long as your number one is on point, we can remain <laughs> friends. <laughs> all right. So here we go, folks. Before I show my number one of all, I just want to do some honorable mentions and listen closely. What? Listen closely. I want to show what? you. Oh, my God. That if I was doing specific, <laughs> like, let's say Marvel Select, for instance. My number one Marvel Select would be. This Thanos right here. Marvel Select Thanos. I mean, this is an incredible sculpted figure. Looks great in your Marvel Select, and it looks great in your Marvel Legends. So it's a win-win. Plus, it's just a mad titan, folks. Very awesome Okay, figure. honorable mention. Honorable right. mention. Now, here's one you can laugh with Terrible, me, honorable laugh mention. at me, but this one blew my mind. <laughs> it's going to be that pink one. Mind. It's going to be that pink thing. These McFarlane... <laughs> Oh Listen, I know God. nothing about these games. I know nothing about Fortnite. But this thing blew my mind with articulation. All right? This thing was crazy, right? Pretty pretty nice little uh, runner-up. But, you know, just saying, that can't, that's kind of a sleeper hit. Come out of nowhere, I was not expecting. I think we could agree. I was not expecting McFarlane toys to have such an articulated figure. It just really blew my mind. All right. If I was going to choose, we're about to get to number one, y'all. If I was going to choose a Mezco which I know a lot of y'all voiced your opinion and you don't really like uh, Mezco figure. That's all right. If I was going to pick a number one, it would be the brand new Justice League uh, Batman. This thing right here, man. Holy cow. I've only had it a week, so I, or not even that long. I had it like three days, I think. But, uh, yeah, very, very awesome figure and awesome pick for 2018 if you were going to look for a good Batman. There you go. But – Drum roll. I can never be mad at that Batman. I can never be mad at Batman. Yeah, I that's, figured you'd like that Batman. Uh, now, that's a good honorable mention. <laughs> when you show your number one fig of 2018, I know it's going to be different because uh, tons of y'all, I already see, I know many of y'all, your Marvel Legends fans, this and that or whatever. So this is, sure. this is out of my comfort zone, too. So understand, when I show uh -oh. you this pick, it's out of mine, too. But I'm going to tell you, as far as uh, just an amazing figure that just blew my mind and a company that really just – <laughs> Blew it out of the park, y'all. The one thousand toys, my number one pick for two thousand eighteen. No, no way, really? One one thousand toys assassin figure. I can this see that. This thing is just listen. I'm telling you, as far as an action figure is concerned, coming. this is absolutely that one. Amazing. That very one. That one. This it, that this one, one right that. here. Not not just the company, but this particular figure right wow. here, y'all. That, that that's a shocking pick. I can see. I can see it. Very. It's, it's fun to play with, right? Plastic exactly. and have three yeah, yeah. diaphragm joints, right? Here's the thing, man. Uh, like Revil Tech, for instance. Dude got new booty, man. He this just guy... got that figure. He on, he on new booty alert. You know no, what I'm saying? You know when you get that new booty fig? <laughs> you get that new booty fig. You want to say, oh, I love it so much. This is a new booty fig. Any of y'all folks <laughs> that love, love posing figures, love uh, messing with the action figures, love taking pictures of figures, this thing is insanely detailed, insanely articulated. But the thing I love about it above all my other figures is what, no matter how you move this guy, it hides the articulation so well. You know what I mean? Like a Revil okay. Tech, the moment you start moving a Revil Tech, man, it, I mean, you know, you got to be, it's like a Rubik's Cube, right? Well, this thing, okay. you can move this bad boy however you want to. Show, show us on your display stand, uh, James. Can you show us on the display stand? Because it, on your uh, stand. 
Yeah, hold on, let's see here if I can rock, flip rock, this camera click on around. Doodog so it doesn't keep uh, jumping to uh, George. It is, it is on Doodog. <laughs> so I, yeah, here we go. He was hyped up. So, yeah, man. I mean, this thing is just I'm crazy. Man. It's got. Hold on, let me look, let me look at this. Look at this. You bit. You got double or actually triple ball pegs right here. You got these okay. weapons that are hidden in his hand. Right. I mean, it's just crazy. You got another blade that flips up like this. I mean, everything on this guy. Is articulated. It is absolutely. So it's a super articulated figure for sure. <laughs> so is that articulation. So, anyways, it, number one for me has got to be this assassin figure right here, y'all. So there you go. I'm really sorry okay. you didn't have a hot toy. I thought you were gonna pick that Thor. Was that, Thor? Well, that was gonna be. Matter of fact, let me show you that real quick. That was gonna. I, I had to decide between that assassin figure and this figure. This between this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this, it was it was tough, but oh. I mean. I don't know, man. About equal. So there oh you go. my gosh, that hot toy is just showing off. I don't. I it's can't crazy. look at that hot toy anymore because I. I can't. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't want to get. Into I can see why this. why he uh, picked it because it's it's a fun figure. It's a fun. It's, yeah. it's very articulate. I'm not actually mad at it. I'm just surprised. It's just a it's, super it's fun a figure. Thing. Anyways, number it's one a dope for me. Thing. Thousand Toys Assassin. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. It's That's definitely a my dope figure. All right. Awesome. It's a dope figure. Let's move it on over to Tech Trucker. What is your final and top pick for All 2018? Right. So now that I got the floor, uh, I, I totally understand what Dude Dog is talking about because, like, this guy, he, I go back to him all the time. I've got him at work, and I'm constantly, you know, transforming and whatnot. It's, the ones that are the most fun to play with are, are going way up in the list, which brings me to... Do dog had some uh, had some uh, runners up. I'm doing runners up too. <laughs> Do it. All right. So I haven't actually pulled this guy out to really get into him, but I'm pretty confident. Oh, he should be on the uh, list. That he should be on the list. I haven't. Pulled I know him pounds. Out. I know I pounds agree with me. Pounds. No, he should be on the list. Anybody that has that figure. No, he should be on the list. I know, but I just I haven't done anything with him yet, so it, I didn't feel right about it. Plus, I haven't. I've got some. I've got some unboxing videos, and technically, he's in that in that list. So okay, and then okay, and then, let's get to it. We still have 150 to the chat. I know, I know. Oh boy, he got Goro as an honorable mention. What is that? A hot if toy? What? Open. He's showing us it's a box. The box if is I had an honorable mention. Open. It's hot toy box. The honorable had. mention. That's the Thor that James just was showing. If I had this open, it would be take my top. Out the my box. number one. Take no, out the box. no, no. Oh. You got to watch on my channel. <laughs> my first How hot toy. How can we believe you? How can we believe you? You it's, have that. It's a hot toy you box. You just have the box. You can't. You just have the box. <laughs> you have a box. <laughs> all right, all right. Since Brock wants <laughs> us to keep moving along, all right. My number one for 2018. Popeye. Um, Popeye the same. Well, well, my man. hand, my hand is so white that doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, you better put your jacket back there, player. <laughs> yeah. There's no sun where you're at. <sighs> there it is. It's right here. He's, he's actually going to be on Popeye. <laughs> he was white. too white to give it a background. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you live in Minnesota. <laughs> Over and help the guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so here's the deal. Um, I have a, I have a much better uh, story for why I like Popeye so much. Um, actually, I don't. No, I, I just I remember <laughs> growing up all the time, and I just it, it, here's the thing about this figure, and and the slight difference with some of the Mezco uh, figures, the cloth on this is so thin that it actually lays on the figure as though it is in the correct uh, scale, the 112 scale. The pants are really, really thin. They move with his with the articulation, whereas like the, uh, the trench coat on the uh, old man Logan, it's too thick and it doesn't move right. These clothes are perfect. And just the, the, the look, they did a really good job. That's my review. This is my number one. We can end the stream now. Whoa. Good night. No? Pump no, no your yeah, we still got people. We still Pump. got people to go. Oh. Pump your brakes, Matt. Pump okay. your brakes, Tech Chucker. Come okay. on. Sorry, right, George. Joints. We're going to right. you for your final excited. pick of 2018. My final pick. pick 
Uh, <laughs> number one. Here we go. My number one pick for this live stream. For this live stream. It will vary on my actual channel, right? Because it just will. But for my number one pick, if anybody knows me, if anybody follows my channel, the DC they Prophet, know, here it comes. They know, they know I go. am the DC, DC Prophet. So it verse. is here no we go, way the crappy without a is. shadow of a doubt it's a that my a main top DC figure Prophet. of 2018 coming <laughs> in with the elbow, <laughs> Mr. with Plastic the elbow, <laughs> coming with the elbow, the people's elbow, baby. We're going to drop the bomb on all these figures up in here because you know, none of these figures is comparing be a to my man, Terry Mug. Guinness, baby. Uh, Let's go. From we just see his leg. Terry Mug. Guinness, baby. That's a sweet looking figure. All day long. Mm. This fig is absolutely beautiful yeah, nice let one. me tell you that right now yeah. i'm talking about this and fig comes with i'll take your word buddy buddy, <laughs> buddy this fig comes with three three batarangs he comes with his rocket boosters right here two face sculpts he comes the wings are detachable he moves and articulates like a like a fig collector's dream I'm going to tell you, the, the, the fabric that he's made of is dry fit. Same fabric made out of NBA players' jerseys. What's up? We are in there to win this with Terry McGinnis, Batman, and beyond. I tell you no lies. This is my number one fig no. on this live stream. All right, yes, ladies and sir. gentlemen, I got to cut. To yes, the sir. Uh, this brother's been joking the whole time that he's about to reveal his number one figure. <laughs> so here we go. All right, now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. That, Brock said, Who is Terry McGinnis? Are you kidding me? Oh, this no. man, look. I look, read the look, comic look, book. Look. It's, the comic book is, but the figure let, looks awesome. I got to give it to you. Let me does. tell you. Let me tell you. This man right here, oh, single handedly. Saved Batman's life. Batman was in his mid seventies, and without Terry <laughs> McGinnis growing up, saving Batman, I'm gonna tell you right now, Batman would not exist today. Terry McGinnis, number one. Let's there's go. A lot of, there's, there's a bunch of hate going on I, in I the like, chat over like the that. Figure. The figure looks awesome, and I I put it in my collection. Uh, but it goes for a lot of money now, right? Yes, yes. That's a hard you, to get. You, you ain't gonna get them under two hundred dollars. Yeah, nah. Ain't gonna pay for, for two hundred dollars, but that's a sweet looking figure. I like that pick. Absolutely, <laughs> I like your pick. Great pick. Let's go to T Man. T Man, are you still here? I am. Can you see me or hear me? I, well, we can. We can hear you and see your uh, figures. Let's see what see your, your number donut. one is. Which well, is reading the chat, I almost don't even want to continue because people don't. So, it's not this guy. Even though that's an awesome knockoff, not that guy, and nobody's gonna like my number one. Uh oh, it's not that. That's not that guy. No, it's this guy. Which X guy? Transbots Toro. He's so really? tiny. That's what she said. Yeah, saying. <laughs> I've been having so much fun playing with this. Like ever since I got it, I haven't been able to put it down. I've transformed it back and forth, back and forth, and I never do that with masterpiece style figures. So, definitely. And he comes with, like, a whole arsenal over here. And even this sled integrates with his vehicle mode. So it can make him, like, a skiing car. <laughs> of course, it would take too long to transform this. And I, don't, I know you, you're probably ready for the show to be over. We're getting close. <laughs> but that fun. is a nice-looking uh, figure. X-Transbot is not really known for... I mean, they're known for their sculpts, but they're not really... Uh, known for their quality, but from what I've heard, this is a pretty quality figure, right? Yeah, this one's awesome. Like, I, I can't complain. It feels official. Like, it feels better than the official Bumblebee, to be honest. Wow. Main thing people complain about is this backpack, the way that looks. Yeah, it's kind of big. But once I got this in hand, the way it feels and the way it moves, like, you can kick all the way up here. <laughs> wow. I, I, it's just too much fun. And right now on this channel, this is my number one. I don't, 
I don't know what my number one is going to be because I'm going to be able to include this guy on my channel. What are you going to do uh, if an official one comes out? Are you going to pick up the official? And <sighs> it depends on what it looks like. And it. It, it, and if it depends on if it's 150 to $200 <laughs> by the time that happens. How much did this guy cost? This, how much this cost? is like, I, I think I paid like 60 oh, Okay. How, how tall it is it? With, and it's about maybe four like inches. she is close to a six inch figure. She might be five and a half, so he's probably about five inches tall. Ouch! Yeah, I like I like it. It looks good. I I hadn't I haven't really paid much attention to him, but I think that's a figure that I'd, I'd pick up for sure. Let me yeah, just say, I think T Man cheated. He had all bots. I could have easily put all Batman. On my list, I think he cheated, and I don't think anybody should nah. vote for him. Nobody <laughs> vote for Team Man. Oh, they already not. They don't. They don't like bots. But you don't, bots, you don't no, like there, there, there's, you a, don't, there's no. a lot of bot collectors. We got some people in the there's chat. There's a lot of bot collectors into, uh, in the chat. Remember, yeah. remember, somebody, somebody What's had that? an Omega Red on their list. Oh, what, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. To my, to my top figure of the year. And I just need everybody to just do. Right? Oh, there he is. Oh, After <laughs> watching the Spider-Verse, Into the Spider-Verse, Peter Porter, right? No, he's not my uh, my favorite figure, but I, I do like him now. I kind of like how he looks now. I dig him. But my number nah, one that's figure of the year. That's, oh, okay, I'm about to say it. <laughs> has, already, has already been selected by at least one of you that I can remember. And my pick of the year, Marvel Legends, The Thing. As soon as I saw uh, Eric Eisner, who's in the chat, when he did uh, when he uh, did his box on uh, opening uh, on open wow. box, Nashville, <laughs> I love I love this figure. Uh, not wow. only do I think he looks fantastic, he's definitely the Marvel Legend of the Year. He's my figure <laughs> of the year. Uh, again, he, he's got that Harker Customs uh, jacket and hat, and then I made that cigar. It I didn't even looking figure there's one more thing i'm going to do to him i'm going to paint him up but for that reason because i look at figures and i see him as a, a figures as i got like a blank can, uh, canvas to improve that's why he's my number one pick for 2018 so <laughs> let me get this let me get this straight brock he's over popeye he's over cyclonus yes he is over omega red yes thing yes overall figure of the year for you Absolutely. Once he fixes them. Now you have to understand. You have to understand. My collecting it, it varies. So maybe next year it would change, and I would make a completely different list. If this was two years ago, I probably would have had uh, Cyclonus as my number one. If it was maybe last year, mm, I, I may have put like one of the uh, maybe my Mafex Darth Vader last year. I don't know. But my collecting habits change. My my passion right now is to cut. It's Marvel figures. Legends. And, and yeah, Marvel I, Legends. I dig the Marvel Legends right now. I think they're at a price point that are affordable for the whole entire community. Whereas okay, figure, so if you wasn't on your Brockonomics tip, if you wasn't on your Brockonomics, I don't um, think Marvel Legends will be your number one. I missed I missed my Brockonomics uh, budget this year. I did not. I did not. Yeah, you it. you definitely got off your Brockonomics with just that one figure alone. <laughs> I love the figure about. from when I first started appearing. I go, that's like a, almost a perfect Marvel Legend figure. I love it, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. And it's for my collecting habits, my current collecting habits. All right, why don't we okay. do this? Let's go back um, through. Did you want to uh, say something, George? I want to. I just want to put it out there right now to the chat. Let's start voting right now. Put plastic if you agree with my list. Yeah, put interrupt. rock if you agree interrupt. with his. Put tech. Just put tech if you agree with tech. Put uh 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 shit dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, do dog. <laughs> do dog for if you agree with do dog. We'll, de we'll <laughs> deduct plastic. Fourteen votes. Hold on a second. I don't even know what George. George is currently on mute. I've <laughs> muted him. Uh, he is. He has lost his privileges to talk right now. If you want to right. vote for plastic, hashtag tech. All right, let's do this. I, I want to go through. Man. I want to. I want to <laughs> thank all of you that are in the chat. Thank you for joining us. It was. I. This is the most I've ever had at a collector spotlight. It's obvious 
because of the guests that I had on the show. And I do want to thank them individually. Uh, I want to thank all the, uh, thank you for your picks. Thank you for your opinions. Thank you to the chat. I think the chat, this was, man, it felt good. I, I appreciate all you guys in the chat and joining us live. Oh, and good time. I want to run us through. I Am I still through. muted? No, you're, you're unmuted right now. You're good. Uh, oh, I want to go through the chat <laughs> and I want to let you all know. Uh, I want them to let you know where you can find them on social media. You're probably already following them, but in the event that you haven't, go, go give them a like. Uh, go give them a follow. Go check them out and see if you like their stuff. Let's start with James. James, where can they find you on social media? All right, y'all. So basically Facebook. I know that's for the old folks. The young folks don't even use it anymore. But if you happen to be on Facebook, it's uh, <laughs> facebook.com forward slash do dog reviews. Instagram. I know a lot of you younger ones kind of use that. Instagram also at do dog reviews. And of course, uh, right here on YouTube, obviously, uh, YouTube.com forward slash do dog reviews. Thank y'all so much, do dog pound, and everybody else that may not be in the do dog pound. Thank y'all for hanging out with us tonight. It's been an awesome time. So thanks. Thanks, James. Now, Matt, where can they find you? Tech Checker, where can they find you on social media? All right. Well, the easiest place to find me is uh, probably, well, we'll say YouTube. Uh, I haven't posted in a while, but I'm actually going to be getting started after the first of the year. I'll be posting up some of those uh, unboxings. So I've got my hot toys first ever. Uh, geez, did I just, did you guys lose me? No, keep going. You're good. Okay, I'm still here. All right. Uh, I'm also on Facebook. I've got a page. Tech Chucker is the page. I used to be Tech Chucker's Brain Blast, but that is confusing and stupid. So now we're just Tech Chucker. I'm also on Instagram, but that's still Tech Chucker's Brain Blast. I'm on Twitter, which nobody cares because nobody's on Twitter. Same name. All right. That's me. Thanks, Matt. Uh, on to you, George. Where can the people find you? Okay, you can find me on Plastic Addict on Instagram under a uh, uh, lowercase p. He's me. faded. Look at this guy. <laughs> he's, he's gone. He's oh, gone. Oh, plastic Plastic underscore Addict eighty one on Instagram. I put up fig pics. I definitely am into fig photography. Um. Oh, T Man left. Dang, is that it's like we'll that? Plug them. <laughs> <laughs> or on YouTube, you can go ahead. I'll uh, I'll make it easy for everybody in the chat. I'll say something real quick, and you can just go ahead and click on my name and go ahead and follow me on YouTube. I'm definitely in 2019 going to have <laughs> a lot more a lot more hunts. I may not grab a whole bunch of retail figures, but I'm gonna have a lot more hunts. Definitely a whole bunch of reviews. And a whole bunch of unboxings. I love to show everybody what I got. Um, but real quick, I definitely want to give a shout out to all the pages that I admin at, which is the syndicate. Also, I admin the syndicate with uh, Tech Chucker and also T-Man. OBM, I love OBM. That is my second home away from home. I admin there too. Uh, MOC Thugs, I admin there too. Please check out MOC Thugs on Facebook. Um, hardcore collectors on Facebook. I'm wearing the shirt. I'm about to hardcore collect the life. Collect over over seven brands of, of figures. So I'm definitely qualified to be in the hardcore collectors. And Toyco, <laughs> follow Toyco on Facebook. Follow Renegades on Facebook. Those are the pages that's absolutely dear and near to my heart. I love those pages dearly. Time. Wake up, T-Man! Wake your ass up! <laughs> <laughs> You're up, T-Man. Where can they find you on social media? Y'all can find me everywhere, especially here on YouTube. Click on my name right now. I just commented. Subscribe and all that junk. You can find me on Facebook, T-Man 978 Chill Review. There's no spaces or dashes or anything like that. Twitter, Instagram, I'm always on Instagram. And just Google T-Man 978. And, and you'll find me if you want to see me. I do more than just Transformers, but for top 10, I am... I, I like Transformers a lot. Let's just say that. But I love Marvel Legends and all types of other stuff. This figure, I didn't play with long enough, but I like SH figure arts mm. and other stuff. This one is actually cool, too. I can't wait to review this. But that's it. We can go to Brock. Thanks, T-Man. Uh, if you uh, didn't catch all of that, it's going to be in the link to my description. There will be links to 
their uh, YouTube pages, and then you can follow them from there. Uh, you can find me, uh, obviously, here on YouTube, Instagram, and on Facebook at Life with Brock. Thank you for joining us, and we'll hope to see you on the next one. Peace. Thanks, Brock. Y'all.